In her Heartland home, Renee Gross spends just about all her downtime. I would say 80% of my life. Brightening the pages that fill the corner of her living room, which has basically become her studio. I do it just to stay happy and calm. Coloring is her escape. It's like everything just kind of flows out of me. I'm just like in another world. Gross is convinced it's the release that saved her life. I had a nervous breakdown, ended up in a psych ward. And the only way I could not think about the bad stuff was to color. Gross says her nervous breakdown was the end result of stress built up by medical problems, a stroke, cancer scare, heart problems, all conspiring to make her feel worthless, even around her own family. In the hospital, here and there, I'm always sick. My, my family can't do anything with me because I'm always sick. At her darkest moment, Gross says she considered suicide, taking herself out of the picture altogether. I just felt like they would be better off without me. Sigmund Freud had a theory about depression that uh, in depression, one turns their anger inward. And art is a way of getting one's feelings out. Dr. John Lehrman chairs the psychiatry department at the Medical College of Wisconsin. He says art as a form of mental health therapy is common, and those who might find the idea of adults coloring to be childish are missing the point. Sometimes we need to return to where we developed from, and childhood is where we have the freedom to express ourselves. For Gross, that return has turned around her life. How much more relaxed do you feel already after getting in a couple drawings? My legs are like numb, you know, it's like I could, I could sit here all day now. But I know my husband's going to make me get up, <laughs> do something. <laughs> over time, Gross and her family could see the colorings were taking over the living room. Maddie has a heart issue. So a friend suggested. I sent to Nina in Springfield, Illinois. Renee starts sending them to children in hospitals. It just snowballed. I just send to whoever I get on Facebook. All over the country. Ava's Army in Loveland, Ohio. I sent Ava kittens, and they, they said she loved them. Seeking out the support pages for hospitalized kids. Superheroes, tractors, dogs, cats. Is another form of therapy. I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing. I don't know where it's going to go, but I just want to make people happy. And now that I'm happy, I want other people to be happy. Unlike the colorings, there is no finished product when it comes to managing mental illness. It can be treated though, and art just might be part of the prescription. In Heartland, AJ Bayapur, Fox 6 News.